Now, this illustration deals uh, with uh, LBs. Uh, and notice that in the quick calc, what would be the A and B dimension of an LB if it contains six number six AWG conductors? And we can splice in an SLB if uh, it's listed to do so. If not, you're not supposed to make any kind of splice in an LB. You just pull through it as a junction point. Now, the LB dimension A, in accordance with 314.28A2, is one inch EMT uh, times six equals six inches. So the LBA would be six inches. The LB dimension B, as you see in the illustration above, would be six number six AWG conductors would require a one and a half inch uh, LB that we would uh, use there. Now, uh, notice in the calculation two, table 314.16b, uh, six AWG size conductors would have a cubic inch rating of five. So the fill area, 30 uh, square inch area, divided by five, uh, by five or 5.00 if you want to include that, cubic inch would be six. So yes, six, number six AWGs may be spliced in the one inch uh, SLB as long as the uh, LB uh, was listed to do so. So this kind of gives you uh, the requirements and notice that uh, an LB uh, six inches by inch and one half would be uh, required here. Now you notice in the illustration you have six number six uh, AWGs may be spliced in a, a one inch LB and then you have your A and B dimensions that it's calling for in quick count one. Quick count two is just showing that the, the conductors could be Splice there as long as the LB is listed as uh, uh, okay to do that. Now, uh, the uh, LB has a 30 inch capacity, so that's where the 30 inch came from in a quick count two, where you divided by five. So don't splice in an LB without it's listed with a capacity to do so.